Hello, I'm Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Today we're going to go through a couple things you can do after you sprain your ankle. A lot of people like to rest their ankle right after it's sprained. That's not the best thing to do. If you have truly a traumatic sprain, make sure you consult a doctor, a physician, PT before you begin doing anything. But a lot of people like to rest ice, give it a couple days off when you really should be doing some gentle motions that will actually help and make it heal quicker. These may be uncomfortable. You don't want them to be uh, excruciatingly painful. There are several levels to some of these that you can kind of work your way up through. These can be done immediately following a sprain. Again, if you feel like you've torn a ligament and you feel you need to go consult a medical professional, please do so before beginning these exercises. But these are just gentle exercises that are going to push some of that swelling out, allow that range of motion to remain uh, where it is, and even a little bit of strengthening. So that way you're not set back. Every day that you wrap it, stay off of it, is a day that it gets set back. So we want to make sure that as you're recovering, you're allowing your body to maintain what it already has. So the first thing that you can do is a heel raise. So you can come up on both of your toes and both of your heels. So because Jordan is a healthy specimen, he demonstrated both the heel and he rocked right in to the toe. That's totally fine. If you have an ankle sprain, you may not be able to do that. So you may just be able to lift your toe and then lift your heel. What also may have to happen is if you're dealing with a very painful higher grade sprain, you may need to unweight that ankle somewhat and just do it without all the weight on it. Still do the same exercise, still do the same heel raise, still do the same toe raise, but put some of the pressure on the other leg that isn't injured and allow yourself to move through that range of motion. You can do this one leg, you can do it both legs. You can do it one leg on the leg that's injured, you can switch all the pressure off onto the leg that's not injured and do it one leg just nice and easy. Again, you want to push this to the point of being uncomfortable, not really painful. When you start off, if there's a lot of swelling in your ankle, you're not going to be able to get a lot of range of motion. By the time you're back to recovery, you should be able to do it rocking back and forth just like Jordan is able to. The next exercise you can do is a single leg stance. So right off the bat, if you're within the first 24 hours of a bad sprain, you're lucky if you can put all your weight on it. So that's basically the first exercise, is just shifting your weight back and forth so you're able to put your weight, full weight, on that ankle. As you progress, you start lifting up the leg that wasn't injured so that you're able to balance on that leg. As you progress even further, you can put a pillow under here, you can start closing your eyes to start challenging yourself. But you can take this as easy as it can. It may take you three or four days, depending on the grade spring that it was, to really be able to put all your weight on that. So take your time, work your way up. There are no sets, there are no reps for these. These are gentle exercises, so if you find yourself just standing there, you can start rocking back and forth. You can start lifting your leg off the ground. There is no specific sets and reps to these. The next exercise you can do, which is a little bit more advanced, but it's going to help you with this strength and help you with the range of motion, is a lunge. So you're going to start off in normal position for a lunge. You're going to take a step forward, and then you're going to go as far down as you can. Okay? When you're healthy, you're going to go this far. When you're not healthy, you may only get that far. You may only take a step forward and come back, and that will be it, depending on how how your leg feels, how much swelling is going on, how much pain you're in. Again, just even taking a step forward, putting weight on it, and stepping back is going to allow those muscles, allow those ligaments, everything in that foot to engage and help your ankle recover faster. If you have any questions or problems, give us a call at 215-997-9898 or visit us on the web at www.totalperformancept.com.